face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on today's episode, we're gonna look at Miss Magus versus Gengar. And it should be said before even going into anything else that I actually was planning this episode way back in Generation 6. But due to the change of abilities, I was very, very unsure how much Gengar actually would have been affected with, of course, the loss of Levitate. Now, with a few months, of course, gone since then, I feel I have enough knowledge about these, these two Pokemon yet again to be able to actually talk about them a bit more. Changing Levitate for Curse Bonnie was definitely a tough call for Gengar, but whether if it is actually relevant enough for it to make it better with them Miss Majors is the question we're asking today. So with that said, we're of course gonna look over their stats, their niches, and of course offensively and defensively what they're able to do against the matchup that follows. So funnily enough, really, they actually have close to the same base stat total. There are only five puns to differentiate between them, and that should tell you guys a lot, really, when it comes to how these guys are actually distributed. Now, if you look at their HP, they're exactly the same. Same with, of course, the defense, but Gengar is a slightly stronger, and of course, the physical side. Not that that matters a whole lot, really. Then goes special attack. Gengar just triumphs 130, it really spikes. But Miss Majors does have 105, it just isn't that mighty. But then we'll look, of course, at special defense, and we'll see that Miss Majors actually triumphs all Gengar there, which is, of course, 75 versus 105. So that's quite a leave, actually. And then, of course, we have the speed. The speed tier is relevant here to some extent because Gengar is slightly faster by 5 base speed, but they're still both very, very speedy Pokemon. So with that said, we're of course going to look at their typing and starting with Miss Magius being a soul ghost type. And it's actually a very, very impressive defensive typing because it's immune towards fighting a normal and resist bug and poison. But are we to dark end its own typing ghost? Now, Gengar has ghost and poison, which outside of course immunity to fighting a normal, it actually strongly now resists bug and poison, but also get two more resistances being in the likes of fairy and grass. Though the weaknesses is also upped a little bit, with of course being still weak to Dark and Ghost, but now actually getting Ground and Psychic as potential weaknesses. So there is a little bit of a double edged sword with extra typing, though an extra stab is always, of course, helpful for the likes of Gengar. Now, of course, with that said, we have to, of course, look at their abilities, and as I stated here, Gengar actually got a change. He had Levitate until this generation. Did get Cursed Body, which makes this Pokemon now a stationary Ghost type, which is both a good and a bad thing. It's good because it does get real Toxic Spikes, it's bad because you're now hurt by Spikes, uh, which is always great to keep in mind. And of course, Miss Majors does actually insistently keeping the Levitate, which makes it a bit more um, <laughs> scarier actually due to Levitate. Levitate is a very, very good defensive response to be able to actually soak, and of course, being immune to Toxic Spikes and Spikes are a big perk for a Pokemon such as, of course, Miss Mages. So missing our Levitate on Gengar is definitely a very, very heavy nerf on it. Now, of course, these two Pokemon are much more than just their ability and typing. And they're both actually get a really, really good move pool. And this is definitely defining them both. And I'm first going to mention, of course, what they share. But we're also going to talk about what difference between them. Because it might very well be the very reason that sets them apart, actually. Uh, they're both gets the regular stuff, which is typical to, of course, a ghost type, which is the will o wisp of course, the curse, and uh, the destiny bond. But outside of that, they do get Shadow Ball, and um, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. And Dazzling Gleam definitely one that stands out a little bit, because it actually is their only main way of actually dealing with fighting types, I was going to say. But of course, the dark type is what stands out the most. And of course, they get Dark Ball, though it is kind of redundant, with, of course, Shadow Ball in mind. But when it comes to different move pools, they're, like I said here, they're very, very defining and stands out in different ways. Gengar, for example, is the only one between these two gets Focus Blast. And it might not sound like a big deal, but Focus Blast or Focus Miss, I want to actually mention that, is a very, very good way of dealing, of course, with normal type, which usually are especially defensive, such as, of course, Snorlax and Chinsey, and, of course, Blissey. So, the are a factor in that Focus Blast is a very, very good and important move for it. And outside of that, it does have a broader physical move pool, though clearly 65 base attack does kind of stand out as probably not as usable. 
and if we look of course in his majors one thing that stands out a lot is that it actually gets set up Gengar misses this completely while actually uh, Ms. Majors does get both Calm Mind and of course a nasty plot. So while it isn't offensively as scary as Gengar, it can get offensively scarier than Gengar, which is something that is super important to remember because it's actually fairly scarily. And of course we have the two extra moves here which makes it really really useful, Mystical Fire and Power Gem. While Power Gem is not as important, uh, should be said of course it does necessarily not hit anything super effectively that isn't scary already for it, but Mystical Fire definitely takes on of course a Steel type that could potentially take on hits on it, and of course it always will lower the special attack of the Mon. Miss Majors also get Magic Coat and of course Heal Bell, which makes Miss Majors not only an offensive threat but also a defensive supporting set, and it's actually fairly good at it. It's actually quite famous for it, even mainly because it does have that extra bulk, which of course Gengar is missing. Though Gengar is not without, of course, a fight back, and I really should mention more moves that do share, such as of course Trick and Icy Wind. And if it comes down to which one can use Trick and Ice Wind better, I would say Gengar is the more relevant for it, clearly. So if I am to be, of course, objectively here and actually say which one I actually think is the better, it comes down to this. Miss Magus is able to be a threat. It is able to set up. It's something that is heavily implemented, that is Moople-wise, Miss Majors is very, very scary. But it should also be said this. So is Gengar. Gengar is also very very scary because while of course Miss Majors can be strong after one, turn 1 with of course a setup, Gengar are strong turn 1. It is no can be, it will be strong turn 1. And even if of course Miss Majors is of course due to the defensive distribution, slightly bulkier than Gengar when it comes to really the special defensive side, Gengar has more resistances, it actually can come in on more stuff, and even though it doesn't take the hits as well, it has the opportunity to actually half the damage on him, which is something that is to be expected here. Gengar might not be as well-rounded as Miss Majors is, I'll even go so far and say Miss Majors probably has the more niches going on that make it relevant, but Gengar just has that edge. The monsters that are especially defensive and can take on hits from ghost types in general all the way to poison, Fairy is the one that definitely stands out there. Gengar is very very capable of dealing with of course special defensive regular Pokemon, which Miss Mages simply aren't. Uh, one thing that stands on top of my head outside of course the general of course. Fairy types are of course bulky normal types who cannot take a focus blast. While focus blast might not sound like a deal breaker, Miss Major's missing out on it, it's making it less able to deal with the threats that are common to it. Having that said, Miss Major's still a very very scary mod, very very formidable, it has a lot of niches that I really really think that makes it very underrated, because it is actually one of the scariest ghost sweepers around, but Gengar is not simply just a ghost. It is a ghost poison, and it matters so much for this matchup. The extra damage, the broader physical relevant move pool makes Gengar just that much better. And it's actually not as close as far as it would be, because Gengar just simply, due to the essence that the Pokemon is, just triumphs over Miss Mages when it comes to relevance in the meta. So, having that said, Miss Majors is still pretty darn good, it's definitely stronger than it actually tier R suggests in NU. Yes, it might actually re reside there, but Miss Majors are a lot scarier than that, and I think it's like I said here, it's really underrated. While it doesn't hold as well as Gengar, it is still <laughs> not a bad Pokemon. It could definitely go toe to toe with the Pokemon such of course Frostlass, Duke by Moopla alone. But Gengar and Miss Majors are sharing a lot of moves in common, and I do believe Miss Majors can deal with a lot of matchup really well, but it all boils down to the matchup that clearly checks and even counter these Pokemon. Gengar can actually be able to take them on, and that's a big deal, even with setup in mind. Had that not been a fruition, even if Miss Majors would have a Focus Blast, this might actually have been a closer call. It is not this time, and it is for a very simple reason. Gengar deals with what Miss Majors cannot, and that's a big deal. 
So of course, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And what are your thoughts about Miss Majors and Gengar? Uh, do you think differently, or you guys just want to mention how awesome Miss Majors really is and how forgettable it is? <laughs> actually, till this till this day, actually. So with all that said, guys, thank you of course so much for watching, and join me next episode where we will talk about Jolteon versus Minitrick.